Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Joy and today I wanted to talk to you about certain letters that you may have a difficult time saying if you have a facial paralysis. But first I wanted to talk to you about a surgery I'm having next month and that is the lower eyelid on my paralyzed side. So I had it done by a doctor that normally does upper eyelids and he didn't have a lot of experience with facial paralysis patients. So I asked him if he could kind of pull up my lower eyelid. It just, it wasn't the result that I wanted. And as a result, as you can see, I've been getting some redness and irritation and this was like a year ago. So since then I found a doctor who specializes in facial paralysis patients and really has done a lot of work with the lower eyelid as far as pulling it up and making it look more symmetrical. So he's actually gonna go back in and fix everything and make it not only look better, but so it's not red. So anyway, going back to what we're talking about today, how to enunciate and how to say certain letters that can be difficult and hard to say with a facial paralysis. So the first letter is the letter B. So whenever I say the letter B, this lip in this one kind of puff out and it makes it more difficult to say. I have that problem with B, F, M, P, O, right here. It's hard, it can't stretch. So O, U, W, and Y. So all of those kind of need this side to pull more, which it can't. Two different problems is kind of like the puffiness of saying certain words like B and the pull of saying certain letters like O. Something that I have learned has been to hold, if you're saying the letter B, you kind of hold your mouth. So if you hold it here, B, it sounds a lot better or P. So sometimes it only takes a finger. You don't have to put your whole hand on your mouth. B, P. And for example, if you're saying the letter O, O, you just have to kind of hold the bottom two, O. And also just practicing saying the different letters I have found, you're kind of retrained your mouth how to say these letters. So if you keep saying B, B, I have just found that that's helpful as well. Saying these different letters, if you don't wanna to touch your face and maybe you've practiced, it just doesn't sound right. I have talked more on this side of my mouth to say those letters. So I'll say B, B or O. So I kind of stretch my mouth more to that side. So these are different things that have helped me as far as saying different letters and words with a facial paralysis. Comment down below if there's other letters that I did not put in or if there's other letters that you are having that you struggle with more. I hope this was really helpful um, and I will keep you updated the surgery that I'm gonna have next month on my eye. I'm really excited about it. Hopefully it will be really helpful. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you.